Okay, thought I'd do a quick reminder of how to extract uh, forces from a power view solution. So starting off here, I've got um, my um, power view file. And I've got the, the pressure field on the vehicle here. So I'm interested in the whole vehicle, but I'm also interested in dividing it into two and looking at the front and rear forces. So I've specified a clip. But I can start off by looking at the whole vehicle. Um, so um, in this case, I need to extract a surface before I can generate surface normals. Um, but before that, just going back to the um, PowerView file, um, it's important to deselect the create cell to point filter data because um, in this case I want to work with the cell data. Um, so then I've clicked the geometry, extracted a surface and then generate surface normals. And when I generate surface normals, I want to deselect all of these options except compute cell normals. So that one needs to be on. And then following on from that, um, I use the calculator. And in this case, it is P minus the reference pressure times the normal and again this needs to you need to select the cell data option here um, so once that's done um, we can integrate the variables <coughs> and when we integrate variables select cell data here and then we have a result um, so this is the, the forces, X, Y, and Z force. And in this case, I have checked that this value 208 does tie up with the X force for this vehicle. So that's just a quick reminder of how to do um, <coughs> pressure integration in PowerView.